if, if somebody wanted to go out, and I think this is what you're asking, if somebody wanted to go and replicate what I've done, um, first of all, you could, you could go check out the articles. I'm sure that there's a link somewhere around this video um, where you could click through and read the article. I share a, an extremely detailed step-by-step -step process so you could replicate it, but I'll describe it and break it down real quick. Basically, you'd go to Instagram, set up an account. It's, it's not free, but it's also not very expensive. So for about $10 a month, you can have a, uh, a fully automated service that will, um, if you log into your Instagram account through it, it will go and like certain pictures that you tell it to like, and you could base it on hashtags or people who follow you or people who follow people that you like. Um, lots of different, lots of different options. I prefer to just use hashtags. It seems to be the best way to locate people who might be interested in your product. And then you can also leave comments and then you can also um, tell it who to follow. So there's a sneaky trick that you can use where you can actually go and follow your competitors followers. And, uh, when you, you know, imagine everyone, everyone who's watching this video, you can imagine your own personal Instagram account when somebody new follows you. Okay. Unless you're like Kim Kardashian. Okay. If somebody new follows you, you're going to say, huh, who's that? And you're going to click through and you're going to check out who they are and what they do. Right. So, um, that is an engagement opportunity where if you're good, okay. And, and they're interested in you, they might follow you back. Does that make sense? Okay. So that's what it does. And you can run it 24 seven. There's lots of customization, lots of features so that you can, you can pinpoint and target exactly the customers that you want to reach and nobody else. And, uh, that's exactly what I do. All right. Uh, so in terms of automating that process and then starting these conversations automatically, are you then jumping in to the conversation manually and getting involved in, in that communication as well? Yeah. So what you're going to find if you were to, if you were to use this process, if you were to use Instagram um, and leave automated comments, um, if you leave a good comment, okay. Now everyone's familiar with the spam that they get on their account. Like, like, uh, you know, it's a thumbs up or it's like cool or cool, cool pick bro. Okay. Or something like that. Um, it's really general and vague and never seems to quite apply to the picture that you posted. You're familiar with that, right? Okay. So if you get that, what do you do most of the time? You probably ignore it. Okay. Um, best case scenario, you might say, gee, thanks. Okay. Um, but I don't do that. So, um, I like to leave a, a comment that's very likely to get some kind of future engagement. Okay. So, um, I don't want to get too far in the weeds cause there's some t technical details here that won't translate well over video, but, um, you can use a, uh, a feature called spin tax, uh, so that you can plug in synonyms for different words. So if you're going to leave a comment, you don't want it to be exactly the same every time, but there's a feature called spin tax that allows you to put in different synonyms for various words in your comment so that it basically generates hundreds of thousands, you know, using complex math, hundreds of thousands of different comments. Okay. So I use spin tax and I leave a comment that basically follows a format where I start with a compliment. Okay. So something that I like about what they're doing. Um, then I tell them why I found them in the first place. Okay. And then request for a future engagement. So compliment why I found them or why I'm, why I'm looking at them and a request for future engagement. Okay. And if you follow that basic format, you can get, a ton of engagement where people actually answer your comment or click back to your profile to see what you're doing. So, um, for example, one of my sample comments that I always share with people is, um, you know, something along the lines of kudos, um, love watching people get after it in the gym. Um, and I'd love to see more. Okay. And sometimes there'll be like a little, a, you know, cute little emoji or whatever. 